DeFi is finance without having to walk into a bank. Completely verifiable to everybody in the public. It's about open source, open community, open participation. An open financial system means that you will be more free. I think DeFi is trying to do with money what the internet did with information. It's really the best way for us to take control of our money. What DeFi really is, is a way to enable the same types of things that we do today without relying on a bank or relying on a, uh, a fund manager or some central party, which you have to trust implicitly, um, you know, i.e. someone like Lehman Brothers. Look at 2008, look at 2009, nobody knew what was going on in big banks. So the black box of centralized finance versus full transparency with DeFi is a pretty compelling feature uh, for people, investors, and stakeholders. Why would you have armies of investment bankers like having spreadsheets that are siloed when you can have this like global platform that you know sees every transaction and sees everything any one of us can look at it and make sense of it the decentralized finance products make a lot of sense in the sense that they are regulatory arbitrage at the end of the day just like Bitcoin was. Regulatory arbitrage is a very successful move in history. It's pulled in a lot of very bright minds uh, and it's become a rallying flag for a lot of companies doing a lot of very innovative stuff. At the same time, there's a risk that it becomes too esoteric uh, and it locks it out of sort of more mainstream markets and more mainstream people. There's a lot of things that um, are just automation um, coming to finance and kind of software eating white collar jobs. Everything that is DeFi is automated but not everything that's gonna be automated will be DeFi. Just remembering that, hey, DeFi is important and there's a market for that, but the larger market opportunity is gonna be automation um, in finance. Decentralized finance will just be known as finance, right? I think that's how we know we'll be successful. You can drop the monikers, you can drop the qualifiers, you can drop the conditionals, and it just becomes finance.